All right, what is going on, guys? Baller TV back, and today we are back with another 2019-2020 NBA 2K19 rebuild. Today we are rebuilding the Atlanta Hawks. Now, this is a rebuild I am very, very excited for because the Hawks' young core is honestly looking really nice right now. You've got Trey Young, John Collins, you got DeAndre Hunter, you have Kevin Horder, you have Cam Reddish. All of those guys put together make for a really nice young core. This team just needs a few more pieces, and they are just waiting to pop. They have a lot of three-point shooting, some good perimeter defense, and honestly just a boatload of potential. So I'm going to take it over the Hawks for this video. A couple of trades I want to make are probably moving the contracts of Camp Bazemore and trying to move the contracts of Alan Crabb as well. Also, we'll be figuring out what we're going to do at small forward because Cam Wrench is a better small forward. We'll see. We might leave him at shooting guard. That way, Hunter can be our small forward. We'll see. We'll work it out. One way or another, I'm sure it'll be all right. So I'm going to get started on this, guys. I'm going to get uh, rebuilding, and I will see you with the first trade, or I will see you with the rotation for the start of season number one. Okay, so right here we're sending Kent Bazemore to the Golden State Warriors for two draft picks. This will script their cap space even more and net us a few picks that could be nice in a few years. Okay, so right here we're doing the same thing with Alan Crabb, just sending him to the Philadelphia 76ers instead. Okay, so here's the rotation for the start of year number one. Now, in past rebuilds, I have played it cool. I've not gone for a lot of big names. I haven't done much in free agency. I've tried to develop like a normal team would. But this time I said, screw it. You know what? I want to win. I want to win a championship this video. So I signed Clay Thompson. He can play perimeter defense and he can shoot the ball with Trey Young's playmaking and also three point shooting. These two should be one of the best backcourts in the NBA as it is now, let alone when Trey Young progresses in a few years. Obviously, we still have Hunter, John Collins. I signed DeAndre Jordan, one year deal. I needed the center this year. I try to get somebody like Wiseman in the draft, but I need at least a one-year rental. He's a good center for us because he does things that no one else does. He's a good uh, interior defender. He's a good rebounder, and he does these things, like I said, that other teammates won't and that aren't good at. So his strengths are kind of these guys' weaknesses. I think it will work well. Then on the bench, we still have Alex Lynn. Signed alone right. Uh, Kevin Horder, he's done the backup shooting guard. He'll be a great backup, too, for the rest of the video. Cam Reddish is the backup three behind Hunter because I signed Clay Thompson. And then Jeff Green will be a one-year backup power forward. Maybe not the whole season because Spellman might take his spot. So, that being said, I really am confident in this team to be a contender in the East. I'm not sure if we'll contend for a championship this year, but I think we should contend to win the Eastern Conference Finals. If we don't, we don't win it. But I want to at least be there. You know, I want to at least win some games and be up there in the playoffs. So, that being said, I'm going to start simulating. I will see you guys at the end of the year. Hopefully there's no trades, but if there are, I will see you at those instead. Okay, so here's the trade deadline. I don't plan on re-signing Alex Lynn, and instead of letting him walk, like I will probably DeAndre Jordan, I want to get another center out of him. So I'm going to go ahead and try to flip him for Mitchell Robinson, and they're not getting enough. Well, lucky for you. Holy crap! I have all these first-rounders? One, two, three, four, five. I have six first round. Okay, I did not know that. Holy crap. Okay, let me just throw in one more second rounder. I'm sure they'll accept it. Seriously, I... Oh my god. I didn't... Dude, are you serious? Okay, one more f second rounder I'm doing first. I don't even care. Finally. Jeez. Okay, so we got Mitchell Robinson, and also I found out I have six first round picks for whatever reason. Okay, so to end year one, James Harden wins MVP. Rookie of the year is John Morant. Sixth man is Jabari Parker. Rudy Gobert is Defensive Player of the Year. Nikola Mirotic is most improved on the Cavaliers. And Brett Brown wins Coach of the Year. So, I don't know if we'll have anybody on these teams. I'm sure Klay Thompson made something. Okay, just kidding. We don't have a single player on an NBA team or a defensive team. Wow. Okay. Do we have a rookie? Do I even have? Okay, yeah, DeAndre Hunter is right there. Okay, good to see from him. So, yeah, we went 53 and 29. It's good enough for the second seed in the East. Facing off against the Nets first round. We'll see who they have. They didn't usually go get Kyrie like they, I think they will in real life. But they still have D'Angelo Russell, Jared Allen, Dinwiddie. So they kept everybody. They got Michael Kidd, Gilchrist. But for the most part, they did not get a single person they don't have in real life. So, okay, I, I could see them keeping it together. But I feel like the Nets are going to make a lot of moves. Oh, I'm... 
I'm stupid. Sorry, guys. We didn't get the second seed. We got the third seed. That was the Raptors. We're playing the Celtics. My bad. Sorry about that. And the Celtics are a lot better than the Nets. They have Kyrie, Tatum, Horford. Jen yeah, this is a really good six seed. Okay, of course. I knew we wouldn't have that easy of a road. That makes no sense. UK hates us. Why would they give us an easy path? So, yeah, we're probably going to beat first round. But that is okay. We did good. And, yeah, we're losing two. We're going to get swept first round. Okay, we won a game. We won two games. We won three games. And we come back. Down 2-0, we come back and win four straight. And now we're facing off against the Raptors. We played the team I thought that we were playing. And they have Kawhi Leonard, I'm sure. that He just usually resigns in this. But he's hurt. Pa Pascal Siakam, Mark Gasol, Kyle Lowry, but he's hurt. Serge Ibaka. So the same, basically, nucleus. What, they, do they still have Danny Green? If so, it's basically the same starting five. Yeah, this is basically a very similar team with Bogdan Bogdanovich and Tyreek Evans and Joaquin Noah. For the most part, it is basically the same team, though, the same nucleus for sure. So let's see how we fare off against them without Kawhi. We win game one and game two and game three and game four. So we sweep them without Kawhi Leonard. They just aren't as good. And we are facing off against the four seeded Cleveland Cavaliers. Now, who do these Cavaliers have? Kevin Love, Stephen Adams, Tristan Thompson, Colin Sexton, Darius Garland. Interesting. This is a very interesting team, to say the least. Um, you know, this is the worst thing we've played so far, and I almost guarantee you we lose to them. This is why I don't like 2K sometimes, is everything we've played so far in the playoffs has been better than this team. And I bet you this team ends up beating us. But I'm going to go ahead and sim it and just see what happens. We're up 1-0, 2-0, 2-1, 3-1, 2 4-2. Okay, we actually win in six. Holy crap. And now we're facing off against the Houston Rockets. And they have the reigning MVP, James Harden. So obviously we know 2K loves James Harden. They love the Rockets, especially early years. So it's still James Harden, Clint Capella, and Chris Paul as the big three. And then the supporting cast, they have Taj Gibson, Fareed, Antonio Blackney. They shook up the supporting cast a little bit, but the main three is still the same. So, I mean, what can I say, guys? Our supporting cast is better, but their star power is better. So I guess we will see what happens. So game one goes to them. Two goes to them. Game three goes to us. Four goes to us. Five goes to us. Six goes to us. And we just won in six NBA champions. Finally, it's been like three straight videos without winning a title, but finally we get one done. We are NBA champions, and Trey Young is your finals MVP. So now we're trying to go back to back. We're trying to win two in a row, at least two in a row for sure. So I'm going to start working on that. I will see you guys with the first move that we're making in this offseason. Okay, so long story short, we turn all six of those draft picks into five and 11. So I'm looking to land a center preferably James Wiseman, and I guess either a backup point guard or a backup power forward. Those are what I'm looking to land with these two picks. So hopefully I can land just both of those things and make this team even better. Okay, so it took a little maneuvering, but I'm going to go ahead and land James Wiseman. He will obviously, you guys know what he brings to the table. And on this team, being a mobile big, I think he's absolutely the perfect fit. Okay, so right here I'm making this trade, and I'm going to have Cole Anthony be my backup point guard now. I know that's kind of crazy. It's a crazy thing to say out loud, but with Trey Young as a starter and Cole Anthony a backup, I think we have the best two point guards in the NBA. Hands down, our point guards are young and talented, and they're going to be a whole lot of fun on this team. Okay, so last move, I traded Patrick Beverly to the Lakers for the 21st pick, and now I'm trading that for Isaiah Mobley to be the backup power forward for probably the rest of the video. Okay, guys, here's a look at the team for the start of year number two. Starting five is completely the same, except we upgraded our center to... Should be James Wiseman, it will be eventually, but Mitchell Robinson is starting right now. That's totally fine. Redditch is a great six-man. Kevin Horder is also a great backup shooting guard. Wiseman and Mitchell Robinson, you can't go wrong there. Cole Anthony, amazing starting point, backup point guard. I mean, he could be a starting point guard. Crap, I mean, he's talented, too. And then Spellman is playing backup power forward for now, but Mobley could come in. You just don't know. I mean, we'll see how people progress. And then we have J.R. Smith, apparently. I did not sign him. Udala and DJ Augustine. So, you know, I I, really, I like this team. I do. We are great three-point shooters. 
We have a 3 and D wing, a do-it-all power forward, defensive-minded and rebounding, mobile big men, good shooters off the bench, good defenders off the bench, good playmakers. I really like this team. Now, last year we won the championship. This year we may not win it, but we're more like posed for next year. I mean, next year we should definitely be able to win the championship. This year, if we do, that's awesome, but I'm really excited for next season. So we'll see if it progresses. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I might make a trade. If I do, I'll see you there. But if not, you know the drill. I will see you at the end of year number two. Okay, so Harden is pissed that they lost the finals last year, I guess. And he has an amazing year. Wins MVP. Rookie of the year goes RJ Hampton. That is uh, foreseeable for sure. Six man is Jabari on the Lakers. I'm not sure they come up with money for that, but uh, whatever. Depoy is Anthony Davis, so that is why, because he is on the Grizzlies. He did not resign with the Lakers. Why did they never resign him? That makes no sense. Tyler Hero is most improved on the Heat, and Mike D'Antoni is coach of the year. So, let's see if we have anybody on any of these teams. I honestly doubt it. We don't put up a lot of stats. Our system is just built to win. I mean, that's what I think anyway. And, yeah, I don't think we'll have – oh, yeah, there's – I forgot we have James Wiseman and Cole Anthony. Oh, yeah, that's that's right. And we have a good power forward, too. So, yeah, we have a couple of rookies on the all-rookie second team. So, uh, we get the one seed this year, 54 and 20. I can't remember if that's better or worse than last year, but whatever. So, we are playing the Sixers first round. Let's see who they have. We really just struggled the past month. We kind of limped into the playoffs. I don't know why. We were literally dominating before that, but whatever. So, the Sixers are a pretty good team still. Embiid's obviously one of the best, if not the best, center in the NBA. Ben Simmons, if he could shoot threes or even middies or any kind of jump shots, would be one of the best point guards in the NBA. Uh, Tobias Harris, Bojan Bojanovic, um, don't really know how you say your name. Zaire Smith, uh, he's pretty good. Tarian Prince, not a bad pickup. McKinney, I think he played for the Warriors. Jonah Bolden, Boban, my boy. George Hill. Okay, these have, they've got some players for sure. They're not as good as they were with Jimmy Butler and all of them, but they are still a very, very tough eight seed. So here we go. Some in the current round. Hopefully we don't get beat. Down 1-0. Down 2-0. Guys, seriously. Okay, 2-1. 2-2. 3-2. 4-2. 5-2. 6-2. 7-2. 8-2. 9-2. 10-2. 11-2. 12-2. 13-2. 14-2. 15-2. 16-2. 17-2. 18-2. 19-2. 
Chris Ball. So then, yeah, you can go through the rest yourself. I don't need to read all these guys. This team is definitely not uh, strong in depth, but James Harden is a 99 overall. He's the MVP, and he led the team to the best record in the NBA. So we'll see how it goes. Game one goes to us. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. Game four. And we win in five. Back-to-back -back champions. I think that's the first time this entire series that we go back-to-back. -back. That is awesome. John Collins wins MVP. Okay, I'm not complaining. We won the series. That's awesome. John Collins is MVP. I would have definitely expected Trey Young, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. So, three-peat? I, I guess we have to go for a three-peat now. This team is set up to three-peat. Might as well. We only have to re-sign John Collins. That's the only move I'll even make this offseason, most likely. Unless a great trade or draft pick falls into my lap. But, uh, yeah, I'm bringing back John Collins. And we're going to go for this first three-peat that we've ever done in this series. I hope we can get it. Let's find out. I will see you guys with either the first moves we're making or just next season. Okay, what are you guys thinking about a three-peat? I think that with this team... I, I love this team. One through, I don't even know, 12 if you change these two. I am confident in this team, man. We I mean, seriously, starting backcourt, amazing. 3 and D wing as a starter. All-around power forward, starter. James Wiseman, freaking James Wiseman, starter. Six minutes, Cam Reddish, you kidding me? Mitchell Robinson is a great backup center. Cole Anthony is a dream backup point guard. Kevin, my boy, is banging threes all over the court. And then Spellman, I mean, you know, he's okay, but we have all these young backup power forwards waiting to take a spot, too, if he doesn't perform. I, this team is amazing. We're getting these three. I got JR and DJ uh, rings last year. I got Andre Aguadala a ring last year. And now, this might mess me up. This might be a curse, but I'm trying to get Melo a ring. I'm trying to get him that ring, so hopefully we can get it for him. I think this team's great, guys. I don't foresee any moves being made at all. Must be suck for some reason. So that being said, I will see you at the end of year three, where hopefully we win more games than we did last year, and we are a one seed yet again. Okay, so here in year three, Zion wins his MVP. And with those numbers, I'd imagine he probably won Defensive Player of the Year as well. Jalen Johnson's Rookie of the Year, LaMelo Ball, a sixth man behind, I'd assume, John Wall. Anthony Davis wins Defensive Player in the Year of the year on significantly lower defensive stats, but whatever 2K is itself. And then Marco Fultz was most improved coach of the year is our coach as we went 64 and 18. So we definitely improved like we wanted to. So uh, let's see if we have any Hawks again. I really doubt that we do. We just aren't putting up a lot of stats. Uh, defensive team, maybe no. And we don't even have a rookie. Our best rookie is Sharif O'Neal and he didn't even play like, at all like really at all so yeah here we are we are the one c let's reset the rotation real fast is somebody hurt okay i guess mitchell robinson is hurt that's not good how long is he out for day to day okay awesome that is well it's not good that he's hurt but it is good that he'll be back soon so we're playing the bulls um okay still basically the same team uh yeah it's actually the same exact team except they have this guy now and this guy, and then I'd say their supporting cast has gotten a little bit worse, in my opinion, but that could always bite us. And then Zach Levine, I mean, in 2K, debatably their best player, is out for 8 to 10 weeks. Now, this is not a team I want to look past. I hope we can beat this team. We should beat this team, but with 2K, you really just never know. So, here we go. We get game 1, and game 2, and game 3. And we get a clean sweep. And now we are playing the Detroit Pistons. Okay, they close it out in seven. So we should have uh, Mitchell Robinson back and we do good deal. So the Pistons, I have no idea who they're going to have on their team. They could be very different looking than they were. But they're really not. They have the, these two playing in the front court still, Blake Griffin and Andre Drummond. Anthony Edwards, that is a significant upgrade at shooting guard. He is very, very talented. So that is not good for us. Thomas Bryant has developed into a nice backup center. Jalen Johnson is also a significant upgrade at that position for them. And then their starting point guard would be Reggie Jackson still. Okay, still on that big contract. Or no, that contract's smaller, so that's, that's good for them. Okay, you know, this team definitely has a nice, solid big three and a pretty solid starting five for sure. We're better than them, but you just never know with this game, so we'll see what happens. So here we go. Game one goes to them. 
Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Game five goes to them. Game six goes to them, and we win in seven. So we survive a second round scare, and now we have the Indiana Pacers. So Pacers probably still have Old Depot. I'd imagine they do. He is a 91 overall now. They also have Keenan Evans. I am not familiar with him. I'm not sure who that is. Don't try Jordan. He won a chip with us. I hope he doesn't get another one this season. Miles Turner, very good center, obviously. I've heard of this kid, but I'm not too familiar with him either. Thaddeus Young. You know, he's Thaddeus Young. This guy is also not bad. 18th overall pick in this year's draft, I believe. Okay, Aaron Holiday. He's a good backup point guard or shooting guard, whatever you want to use him as. Joe Harris, three-point contest champion. TJ Warren. Yeah, this is actually a very deep team. This team has talent very far down the roster. This is probably the best team we played in the playoffs so far. So here we go. Game one goes to them. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Game five goes us. So we win in five, and we are playing the Grizzlies, not the Rockets this year. So the Grizzlies, we know they have Anthony Davis and Ja and Jaron Jackson Jr. Holy crap, this team is actually really good. Okay, I see how they got this far. I'm not sure who Mike Young is. This kid can shoot. I know who he is a little bit. Terry Rozier. Okay, who's our starting shooting guard? Who is that? Who would that be? I guess Tyler Bay, whoever that is. This, this is a talented team, for sure. This team definitely has some talent. This big three right here is not a joke. No joke, for sure. So, hopefully we can get this series. Here we go. Game one goes to them. Game two goes to us. Game three goes to them. Game four goes to them. Game five goes to us. And we lose in six. No. The three-peat does not get complete. I can't make a three-peat thumbnail now. I was really hoping to do that, but we lose to the Grizzlies. And I'm sure Anthony Davis knows Ja Morant. He's amazing in 2K. Lynn's finals MVP. Well, we were close. Three straight finals is not too bad. Okay, guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I think we did pretty well. This is our starting five right here, and it was very good. Very good for sure. And then our next five up were also very talented as well. Kevin was out for the final, so that probably did not help us out. But overall, very successful team, very successful video. I'm very happy with how it went. I wish we could have three-peated, but you know what? It didn't happen. That being said, thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying 2K, leave a like, subscribe. We're going up right now. This has probably been the most successful month of YouTube I've ever had, and there's just more videos on the way. Next 2K rebuild should be the Washington Wizards, and that one, guys... I'm honest with you, I'm just going to blow the Wizards up. That's what they need to do in real life, but they just keep on holding on to that John Wall, Bradley Beal duo, and I think it is time to blow it up for them. And then uh, next 2K 100-point challenge was supposed to be a job, Marant, but it is really, I tried it, and guys, it's hard. I don't know if I can do that one. I might have to do a different player or a different person or something. So if you have somebody you want to see in the 100-point challenge, comment that down below. I'll be sure to do them. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the Washington Wizards rebuild.